instantly improve your sales numbers. He's right. When you look at it that way, it's not so bad. We have good sales. Today we study about scatter plots. Students were interviewed about their average daily study time and their final math grade. So daily study time is over here, okay? And the marking period grade is on the y-axis. So this is the dependent and this is the independent. Now check out the results. One st student said, I don't study, but my grade is 45. Another student said, I studied for 20 minutes and my grade is 48 or something. Another student says, I study for 90 minutes and my grade is 70. So different students shared their data about their time study and their marking period grade. These are the results. There are points and scattered all over your graph. That's why we call them scatter plot. So this is your independent variable and this is your dependent variable. Okay, observations about the graph. What can you say about the plots? Well, they're all over the place. You can say they're scattered. Do they all align in a straight line? No, they're all over the place. How near or far are the points from each other? Very close, close, far, or very far? Um, we could say they're close to each other. Is there a trend on how the points develop? I see a, the trend. It's like going up. From left to right, it's going up going that way. Some people would remember going positive, right? Make a hypothesis regarding the relationship of the study time and the math grade. Does one affect the other? Um, we could see that the more time you study, the more time you study, the higher your grade is. And the less time you study, the lower your grade is. A scatter plot is a graph of plotted points that show the relationship between two sets of data. You see the relationship between weight and height. Sometimes they call it bivariate data because bi means two, weight versus height. In this example, each dot represents one person's weight versus their height, weight versus the height. Two variables are being described and compared to. So today we're going to study the following, direction, the form, the strength, the presence of outliers and their association. Let's start with direction. Just like our example, we could say this is positive. As one increases, the other increases. As one decreases, the other decreases. And we could say that this is negative. As one increases, the other decreases. You're way up here but you're way down there. See that? Positive and negative. They're positive and negative. I repeat, positive and negative. Okay, next, the forms. The forms could be linear. Obviously, it makes a straight line. And it could be nonlinear, where you see curves or angles. That's obvious. The strength could be the following. It could be weak. They're not close to each other, all right? Very scattered, but it shows still a pattern. It could be moderate. Moderate means scattered, but shows a pattern. And they're closer than the weak ones. And they could also be strong, very strong. Almost together, right? Shows a pattern and the points are near each other. But the best one is perfect, meaning points are perfectly aligned in a straight line. Outliers. With outliers or without outliers. Check this one. The data is already showing a trend this way, but there is one data which is odd or which is different. Not like the usual data. We call that the outlier. Next, that doesn't have an outlier. Most of them follow a pattern. No odd or misplaced data. With association means there is a pattern in the direction going that way and one variable affects the other. As one increases, the other increases. 
But here, it's without any correlation or no association. No pattern and it's so random. One variable doesn't affect the other variable. Now let's have some practice. So here we could say it's going that way. It's negative. And it is linear. They almost form a line. And it's moderate. They're scattered. All right. Um, there is a relationship and there is no outlier. Next, this is positive, going that way. And it's not a straight line, it's curves over here, therefore it is nonlinear. What else can we say? It's moderate, moderately together. And we could say there is a relationship and also there is no outlier. Next, these are all going positive, very linear. It forms actually a straight line, very strong, and it has a relationship and no outlier. Correct. Try this. Pause. So we could say this is positive going that way. Linear. Yeah. But weak. Linear but weak. So this is negative going that way. What else? Linear because it forms a straight line. What else? It is strong. Almost on the same line. And there's the presence of an outlier. There's the outlier. Okay. Next, it is nonlinear, so it's neither positive nor negative. Nonlinear. And there is no correlation or no association at all. Okay. Now, for the rest, do it quietly, pause, then check your answers. Another practice. Read a problem. And plot the points, read a problem, plot the points, and answer the question. Answer the following questions.